Okay, what we've got here is we put the band on the shop. We've got it bolted to the uh, header inside the shop. There's a big wide beam in the shop all the way down it. We put these bolts in it to uh, hold it on there. You can see the layout for our rafters is already on it. We're to the stage now where we'll be cutting rafters and putting them up next. It ain't coming down, is it?
Okay guys, it's time now to start putting the lathing on. And what I've done is I've laid my layout of my rafters onto my lathing. I do that so that when I put them up, I can pull my rafters straight because a lot of them get crooked from shipping and stuff like that. They warp. Uh, so we put our layout on this. Uh, and from here, we get up there and we just transfer it down to the rafter. Nail it in place. That way we're ensured that all of our rafters will be straight when we put it on the barn. Uh, Brian helped me get a few rafters up. I was able, he had some other work to do. I was able to finish getting the rest of them up myself. Uh, which we overlap them here like two foot. That way uh, it helps to make it a little bit stronger in the center over this uh, main beam system we got through the barn here. And I've also mounted a board against the, uh, the barn there, a band. I bolted it to a band that was on the inside of the barn uh, so that we have a good connection to the barn. Uh, my first lathing I put on is a two by six. I put that up next to the barn up there so that I have a good surface to reach up under the other metal and stick out from under it. I have a place to put my screws. We're fixing to start installing the lathing now. They'll be on two foot centers uh, down the roof. And that way our metal, I, I don't like to have wide spans between my lathing on metal because I've learned if you get too wide of a span between it, like say three foot or something, if someone steps on the metal in one of those places, it'll crease it in. And I don't want that. I'd like my roof to be good and solid and, and not have any problems. So. Okay guys, these two sticks I have here, these are called gauge blocks. These are cut 20 and a half inches long. All I do is butt this under one lathing, bring my other lathing up to it. That gives me exactly two foot centers on all my lathing. I don't have to sit there with a tape measure and keep measuring. Because I put my first one up, I pop the line and I put it right on the line. And if I keep all of them with these gauge blocks from that point on, I don't have to worry about it. all my lathing stays straight. It's a lot faster for me. And I don't have to worry about pulling lines and popping chalk lines all the time. So this is one of my tricks that I use. Makes lathing a whole lot easier. And yes guys, I'm driving this by hand because my nail gun, the piston messed up in it and the O-rings. And this is a lot more work than using a gun.
That's for sure. Got to get back into the swing of driving nails. <laughs> 